technology and livelihood education, TLE 8, cookery. Store and stack kitchen tools and equipment. Learning outcome. 3.1. Store or stack cleaned kitchen tools and equipment safely in the designated place. How to clean and store cooking tools and equipment. 1. After measuring and mixing ingredients, so-called used mixing bowls, spatulas, measuring spoons and cups and mixer accessories in a tub of warm water, add a small amount of dishwasher detergent to help start the cleaning. Drop items in the soak as soon as you are through using them. They will be easier to wash later on. 2. Use a damp washcloth to wipe off all cake mix splatter from the mixer. While you're at it, wipe off any stray splatter from the counterpiece and nearby areas. If necessary, finish off with dishcloth. 3. Return electric mixers and other electronic equipment to their designated storage spaces. 4. Or, after cooking, soak used cake pans and muffin tins in warm water with dishwashing solution to soften the baked on or burnt food. 5. Wash all used baking items and accessories by either hand washing or loading in a dishwasher, if dishwasher safe. 6. Dry all baking tools and equipment by air drying rack or wiping with a dry dishcloth. Make sure all wooden spoons and accessories are dry before storing. 7. Store all tools and equipment in their designated places. Put frequently used items in conveniently accessible locations. Gather and secure electrical cords to prevent entanglement or snagging. Proper storage and handling. Proper storage and handling of cleaned and sanitized equipment and utensils is very important to prevent recontamination prior to use. Cleaned and sanitized equipment and utensils must be stored on clean storage areas and handled properly to minimize contamination of food contact surface. 10 Steps in Organizing Kitchen Cabinets 1. Pretend it has a glass door and that everyone is going to see what's inside. 2. Remove all the equipment and scrub shelves with soapy water. 3. Think about what you reach most often and make sure it gets a position that's easy to reach. 4. Take a cabinet full of glasses and line them up by color. Make sure all of the front are facing out and straight. Jeff Lewis style. 5. Take a step back after one shelf is done and make someone else look at what you've done. Storing of washed utensils 1. They should be stored in a clean dry place adequately protected against vermin and other sources of contamination. 2. Cups, bowls, and glasses must be inverted for storage. 3. When not stored in closed cupboards or lockers, utensils and containers must be covered or inverted whenever possible. Utensils must be stored on the bottom shelves of open cabinets below the working top level. 4. Racks, trays and shelves must be made of materials that are imperious, corrosive-resistant, non-toxic, smooth, durable and resistant to chipping. 5. Drawers must be made of the same materials and kept clean. Full line drawers are not acceptable, but the use of clean and removable towels for lining drawers is acceptable. Okay it's sharing time. I hope you've learned something today. Answer the following questions. 1. Why it is important to clean, sanitize, and store equipment properly. 2. Enumerate ways on proper storage of kitchen tools and equipment.